Yo, check this out. No customers in the shop. It's quiet. Well, he don't count. You don't count. What? You don't count. Ooh. I can't. It's too loud. I can't hear you. Zika Diva Doo Boo Doo Boo. Ha! Doo Doo Boo. Do Super Mario 64. Changed my life. Actually, right off the bat, video game that changed your life down in the comments whenever Mario popped up out of that tube and you were 3D and you could run over here and you could run over here and it wasn't linear. Woo! Woo! Oh, that was you're, such you, a good time. are you already thinking about your game? That was such a good time. That game. Mario Kart 64, it, oh. was, it was just a game that I could play forever. It's a good one. I could still play that so game. So we said today. some pretty generic ones. Mario 64. Sorry. Mario Kart. I'm not even gonna say Earthbound because you guys have heard me talk about it too much. So you guys tell us down below the game that just like blew you away. So we are in the shop right now, and there's no one in here. It's pretty quiet. <coughs> me and Mike opened up the shop today, man. Yeah, dude. That was nerve wracking. Oh, that was nerve wracking. Scary. It was scary. I'm over here putting all these Nintendo controllers in these bags. Check out all the bags. We got the retro Rick topper. And there's the bag, got that. Over here, oh, uh, this was awesome. This lady from our church came to my wife's, uh, we call them life groups, they basically get together and they study the Bible together, it's really cool. She came over to the house, she's like, I don't know, 60s, and she was like, hey Rick, I found these two games, or these three games. I didn't know if you needed these for your game store, but I don't, I was gonna throw them away and thought maybe you'd want them. Miss Gail. Thank you so much. Yes, I will take those. So we got a couple Mario games. That's pretty cool. Over here, we got a little trade that came in. Mario Land, Spider-Man 2, Game Boy Color, a very used Pokemon Blue, uh, Kirby Dream Land, Pokemon Silver, and then look at this. Ruby, this is the last game that I have in, that I don't have complete in box for all the Pokemon games. So I need to, need to get that one still. You got uh, some Switch games and then a burrito. Oh yeah. Uh, we'll take we'll take burritos for games. You said it. No take backs. And then a whole bunch of stuffies, stuffies, stuffies. DK. Ooh, I've never seen an all blue Squirtle. He's cool, unless he's always oh. all blue, and I'm just not remembering correctly. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, check out this board game over here. Oh, okay. Look at this sealed Power oh. Rangers board game. Man. I think I gotta keep that, don't you think? Uh, you know, it's cool, so. Don't you, that, it naturally. looks, I'm pretty sure it's an original seal. I don't know board game seals very well, but it looks nice, surely, so that'll probably go in the collection. That's Up cool. in, guess where? The Office. office. Ooh, 80stees.com, 35% off, check it out if you ever want awesome shirts cheaper. One of our faithful customers, Jacob. Jacob, if you're out there, and you're watching, thumbs up to you, man. Thank you so much for your continued support with the channel and the store. He found this right here. This is another magazine rack and we needed this. So right here was our main strategy guide um, magazine rack. So over here, you got our Nintendo powers right there and then right here as well. Wow, we had another space right here that was kind of a dead space. And he found this magazine rack, I believe at a flea market antique store, someplace for like 10 bucks. He sent me a text, a picture of it. He's like, do you need this? I actually think I could use that. So we have switched over. All of these are gonna be your PlayStation and Xbox strategy guides. You got Final Fantasies, Final Fantasy Origin, Fear Effect, God of War, Dragon Quest, Star Ocean, so a bunch of those, and then we are going to make this strictly Nintendo, underneath the Nintendo World Championship shirt. So you got Mega Man's, Animal Crossing, Pokemon Coliseum, all of those right there. So you'd walk into the store right here, see the PlayStation, and then you'd see all the place, or sorry, the Nintendo, then you'd see all the PlayStation strategy guides. I think it looks nice. It's getting a little, it's getting a little cramped over here now. The walkways are starting to, to, to dwindle, but I think it looks good. And we had so many strategy guides in the back that needed to be put out, and now they are. All right, so I wanna talk through this. This is my last ditch effort in the next topic that I wanna to talk to you guys about. It's a big one. It can change the game store for sure and how we operate, but I wanna talk about something. 
Michael, what are we looking at right here? What is this box? A bunch of new games. Look at new. this. New. Why are we getting new games? I don't know. The heck if I know. I... New games. People like them, right? You got Helldivers 2. Helldivers 2. Uh, Yoshi's. Yoshi's Crafted World. World. Undertale. Undertale. Oh, such a great game. And then a bunch of so uh, Super Mario Wonder. Odyssey. And Mario oh, Odyssey. Stuff. So yeah. this box right here is actually a brand new distributor. This yes. is brand new. We have never used them before. I want to say, is it called R Video Games Plus? Plus. That's Video right. Games Plus. They are based out of Canada. And I am telling you, I think this may be my last effort. Let's get away from the air. It's so loud. This might be my last effort in trying to get new games. So I want to talk through this. So what I want to talk about is how new games literally drive me crazy. All right, there's a couple things about new games that I don't even really know why we carry them. So you may not know this. So let's just take, for instance, let's take, let's take Princess Peach Showtime, $59.99. Now, you're probably, probably thinking, well, you're a game store. I bet you get those from the distributor for, what do you think, Mike? How much? Well, like 30 bucks. 30? Oh, not a nice little double up yeah. from the distributors to try yeah. to make the game stores nice and, you know, people want to come shop for games. No, we get this game for like 54 to $55. Sometimes, sometimes even 57 Not including shipping. Correct. Not including including shipping. These things, if we sold just ga new games, we would go bankrupt in three months. This game store would not exist. It is all about the used product. So the question is, should we continue to carry new games? That's the question. So th there's a couple things. So let let's go back to shipping. So when we buy these games, when we buy, uh, here's, here's Super Mario Bros RPG. When we buy this, for, buy them for 55 bucks a pop, that's not including shipping, which means we have to buy a certain quantity to get free shipping, which is also incrementally scarier. Because I remember there's been games that we bought on PS4, PS5, where we had to buy 10 copies, 15, 20 copies of this game for $55 and sell it for 60. And then in a matter of a month, six weeks, they dropped half price. They're $30. Mm -hmm. So we're taking a bath. We are getting destroyed. So I have one, and I don't even know what this is going for. This is Sonic Frontiers. Let's see what they're selling for right now. If you're the average consumer, you want to get onto eBay and see how much it is. What are they selling for right now on eBay? Selling $18.22. Are you serious? A brand, PS4, new brand new 18. There's one for 35. Uh, let's see. 21, 18. Can That's you guys wrong. see where I'm? what I'm talking about? Oh, that sucks. I have a couple other friends that own game stores and they're like, why do you even care? Why do you even touch new games, dude? It is a, it's a death wish. You will go bankrupt if you sell new games. I like new games because it brings people in, into the store, but man, so here's the problem that we've had recently. Come with me, come with me. We'll walk over there to, to the new games. So you got Dragon's Dogma 2. So we ordered this game. We paid right around $65. For this game, not free shipping, so if we didn't buy enough copies, we probably lost money, and guess what happened? The games didn't come in on time. So now we have people coming into the store, they're like, I'm so excited, I've been wanting this game, I pre-ordered this game. Christina, can I have my Dragon's Dogma 2? Has it come in? What? But I pre-ordered it! When's it gonna come in? They don't know. Because, here's the problem, we are the low person on the totem pole. Best Buy, Walmart, Target, all these places, they're first. They don't care about us. We're like, hey man, we ordered 10 copies of that. They're like, 10 copies? We're not making any money off y'all, we don't care. Uh, sorry, you'll get it when you get it. Hang up. So here's the thing, why are we doing this? So we have gotten almost every single new game from our other distributor, I'm not gonna say the name. Come on, do it. Do it! I want to, but I'm not gonna say it. We have not received them on time, 80% of the time. Every time. So I'm like, I'm making my customers upset. We're not making any money. Why am I doing this? This is our last ditch effort with this distributor, okay? We're gonna try it. We got these really quick. They're from Canada. They really did well. And we got these quick. Um, but I would love to know down in the comments, what do you guys think about new games versus old games? And do you think, would you care if we didn't sell them? Like if you're like, uh, oh, I don't really care. I just like the, the older games. I like to buy used games. So many people though like to buy new games day one. And we just are finding that we can't get them day one and it's upsetting and it upsets the customer. So we're trying to figure out what the heck to do. Y'all let us know your thoughts. So Rick and I are talking about old time. 
and he mentioned that he was a pretty good baller back in the day. A bit of a shooter, so I want him to prove it. So we're out here at the gym. We're gonna see what the man can do. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness. Splashy. Steph. I can be Steph, I can be Shaq. I can be either. Just a bit. Dang, dude. Hit me. The stories you are might, true. You might, you might change if hit with 20. Oh, oh man. That was not bad, though, dude. Ha! Come on. When it counts. Yeah. A beauty. Welcome in. A beauty came in, guys. Look oh, at this. Nice. Zelda Twilight Princess HD with the Amiibo. It's gorgeous. A couple other trades are coming in right now, but I gotta go. Time to go see the family. We are going to free in Wisconsin. We're going to Wisconsin. Yes, we are, baller. Dude, it's gonna be so fun. Oh, hope, hope, hope to see you guys there. Midwest Game Classic. Hope to see you guys there. Guys, as always, y'all amazing. Don't stop gaming. Never stop gaming. I messed up the phrase.